Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, Texas Art and Soul, and I am excited. I'm going to be giving away fun gift cards here for you tonight. So go ahead and say hello. Let me know where you're from. This is day three of our four day event where I have been teaching you all about paint parties. Okay, so let me know in the comments where you're from, who you are, and if you are excited and if you have been painting this. So the first day I taught you how to paint this and so many of you have texted me a picture of your painting. So I just want to say a huge thank you. So if you have texted me, um, let me know. We are actually picking three winners based on, sorry, my ring hit. <laughs> Bobby got this ring for our, um, our 20th wedding anniversary a couple years ago. We're about to celebrate our 24th wedding anniversary. And um, I, I needed a new ring because I mean, I got married like as soon as I turned 18. So um, so he got me this ring at the Renaissance Festival, which we love. So this is like a, a $50 ring that he bought me. And now it's my wedding ring. I love it so much. <laughs> hey, Linda. Hey, Sue. Um, hey, Sherry. Hey, Denine. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy you are here. And um, let me know how, if you are married, if you are married, how long you've been married, and if you still have your wedding ring from when you were married. I know this has nothing to do with paint parties, but I hit my ring and I thought I'd ask that. Okay, so real quick, and um, those of y'all that sent me the text, I just want to say thank you. I am picking three winners tomorrow night, and you're going to get a really great package of fun art supplies, all kinds of great stuff. So tonight, what we're going to do, and you can text me that number, but tonight what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to book a paint party, okay? So I want you to know that it is easier than you think. For those of you that are in paint party headquarters, please do a hashtag PPHQ because the whole reason we're doing this all week is to get you excited and help you learn about what is coming up in paint party headquarters because we are opening the doors on sunday may 16th through may 20th you can get into paint party headquarters and i'm going to be teaching so much stuff so many things and it has to do and we're going to get you geared up for fall parties but a lot of you if you take action on what i'm teaching you tonight you will actually book parties this week okay are you ready for that? <laughs> Let me know if you're ready for that. Um, oh my gosh. So um, Jenny from Australia married 40 years and still has her wedding ring on. Well, Jenny, my finger got bigger than when I was 18. <laughs> I can't. And the, the way my ring was, um, if they stretched it, it was going to ruin it. So we, I still have my ring, but I just got this one too. And um, oh my gosh, Crystal, so happy you're a part of Paint Party Headquarters. We have so many people with it. 40 years marriage. That's crazy. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Okay, so day one, I taught you the sunflower. Yesterday, I showed you how to do a guinea pig paint party. Now, who saw yesterday? Let me know in the comments. Did you watch me and my family, me try to teach them how to paint the sunflower? Here is why tonight is so important. <laughs> It is way easier to teach a room full of strangers than it is ever is as easy as teaching your family. Now, here's the reason why. My, my husband and my daughter are amazing. I love them. We're all intertwined in this business. But sometimes, does anybody else have family like this where when they get together, they kind of like to, to joke or gang up? Anybody have that in their family? Well, that's what happens. Okay, lots of y'all saw it. That's what happens. So Bobby and Pixie, sometimes when they get together, they get really goofy, which is a lot of fun. But then if I'm trying to teach, it's kind of hard because it's almost like hurting a bunch of, of, of cats. So, um, so yesterday, if you saw that, I want you to know that it is easier to do what I'm going to show you tonight and actually book a paint party at a restaurant or at a country club or something like that. So I will show you how tonight. And um, Cindy says, yes, it was so fun watching all of you. <laughs> yeah, Deb says, um, saw yesterday, it was so much fun. Yeah, my family, we are, we laugh a lot. Pixie tried to, real quick story, and then I'm gonna show you um, how to do this. Pixie tried to be real serious when she was younger. So when she was a little girl, when she was about three years old, she tried to be real serious. And we told her, we're like, 
you can't be ser that serious in this family. Like I get you want to be serious, but we like to joke. We like to have fun. We don't take things too seriously. And we definitely don't take ourselves too seriously. I think it is a gift if you can learn to laugh at yourself, if you can, um, you know, have, you know, that just not take yourself so seriously. So, um, so we told her, we're like, you're in this family. We're not going to be that serious. <laughs> and so it took us about a year and a half of like, you can't get mad at like you gotta laugh like you just gotta laugh like if i trip you get out a phone to record it and laugh like we're just those people and i know it doesn't work for every family but for our family and um, we find that it just laughter is the best medicine and so we're just that way so now pixie is the biggest jokester of all we will be walking down the hallway and she will literally jump out just to scare us you know at 10 o'clock at night so we really try to keep things fun in our house and um, so anyway um, i want to show you um how to book a party so step one what you're going to do is you are going to go to Facebook. Now I am going to share my screen. Let me go ahead and get this to where y'all can see because it's not as hard as you think. And I want to, I want y'all to, um, after you see this, I want to see, oh, good. Some of y'all have families. They're as crazy as mine. <laughs> oh, great. That's awesome. Yeah. Laughter. I'm telling you, laughter is a good thing. You got to be able to laugh. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show, I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, here's the thing. There is some of the stuff I'm going to show you tonight. If you decide to get into paint party headquarters, you're going to see so many other trainings. So after this, I'll tell you some of the stuff whenever you decide to join on Sunday for paint party headquarters. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And I made the screen bigger. So hopefully you will be able to see everything, okay? Okay, so let me know if that looks right. It should look really crazy for a minute and then it should look okay. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to go to Facebook. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but Facebook is basically like a huge search engine, okay? Again, as you're coming on, I just wanna say hello and thank y'all so much. I'm gonna go ahead and pick a $10 winner for a gift card. So right now, Laura Jones Goss. <laughs> she says, if we don't joke around with you, we don't like you. That's hilarious, Laura. You sound like my family. Laura Jones Goss, you are going to be the winner. So if you will please email support at Texas Art and Soul, email us your address. I'll send you a $10 coffee gift card. Okay, so I'm gonna make this a little bigger so you can really, really see it, okay? All right, so what you want to do is you want to search Facebook like it is Google, okay? Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put in Granberry, and then I'm going to put in restaurants, for example. And I never spell restaurants right, so I usually have to see what they say. Once you put in your town, okay, you can put in your town, and then you can put in restaurants. So let's do, for example, I'm going to do Fort Worth restaurants. Okay, so I live close to Fort Worth. <laughs> That's on my list of must-haves for my future spouse, humor. Yes, oh, Bobby is the, the goofiest of them all. Okay, so let me see if I can make the um, banner go away real quick. Hold on one second. We're trying to get real techie here. Trying to get real techie. Okay, so what you wanna do first is pull up restaurants, okay? You can do this with country clubs. You can do this with anything. So Facebook really is, um, and Shelly says you make everything look easy. Well, thank you, Shelly. Again, this is 13 years of experience of teaching paint parties, okay? I didn't just start teaching paint parties last month. I've been doing this for 13 years, and this is a very, very easy way to book a paint party fast. Um, I love how y'all are all congratulating Laura. Y'all are the sweetest people ever. I love y'all. I'm looking at y'all's comments down here on my phone. And um, so what you want to do is you want to either look up for, you know, whatever town you're in plus restaurants, whatever town you're in plus country clubs. So wherever you're at, you want to look up those areas and then you want to kind of just see all. So you can actually see a bunch of the restaurants that are in the area, okay? So what I like to do is I like to kind of scroll through and just find one that you think might be fun, right? So I'm gonna pull up Mi Casina. And then what you wanna do first 
is you want to see um, if they have a lot of people that have liked their page. Because again, some of y'all may start this with zero audience. If you are brand new to paint parties and you don't have emails yet, or you don't have um, you don't have a customer base yet, you're going to need people that are going to you know a host or something like that. So what I would do is I would look through and just kind of see if they're active on social media, okay? So right here, we can see that they posted 23 hours ago and that they have people that are commenting and also people that are liking their posts. So this is a good, good um, thing because people are seeing their stuff. They also did a post on May 10th, okay? So we would kind of go through and see if they're posting, if they're, um, if they're, you know, making comments, if people are actually asking about stuff, and um, all kinds of stuff like that. So if this is a restaurant that I want to pursue, here's what I would do: I would go back up, and I would not message exactly at dinner time. I would message either earlier in the morning, or maybe between, um, you know, maybe a little bit later tonight. Or I would message, um, you know, maybe right before dinner, like maybe um, two o'clock to three o'clock, two o'clock to five o'clock. And all you do is you hit the, the message button right here. And then you just say this. This is all you say. Hi, my name is Heidi and I teach paint parties. I would love to come to your restaurant on a slow night do you have time to talk this week question mark that part is very very important hey janine hey tracy hey lillian thank you all for saying hi as you come on and um, and then i would put thanks heidi okay so let me tell you why this short sweet message works okay Hi, my name is Heidi and I teach paint parties. I would love to come to your restaurant on a slow night. Do you have time to talk this week? Okay, I would send that. Now, the reason why that is so important, the reason why that is so important is because you are asking, you are keeping it short and sweet and you are asking a question. When you ask a question, do you have time to talk this week? our brain automatically goes into answer mode. If you just say, hi, my name is Heidi and I teach paint parties. The price is $35 for 10 people minimum. You can set it up for between Thursdays and Fridays and blah, 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 blah. Everybody is overwhelmed. Have you ever had, let me know in the comments. Have you ever had, oh, Tita Smith, you're so welcome. Hey, LaShonda. Um, have you ever had, you know, you're going through your email or you're going through your Facebook messages and you get a message that's two or three sentences and you can quickly reply. Have you ever had that message? Just put a yes or a why in the comments if that's you. Then let me know if you've had this message where it's paragraphs or it's voice records on Facebook Messenger and it's like four to, I mean, I've had as many as somebody has sent me before, no lie, 17 one minute messages. That's 17 minutes. 17 minutes. <laughs> Do you think that, that the restaurant owner or the country club person or, or even you, do you think you're going to hit play on all of those things? And I'm saying this because I have done this. I have done the long messages. I have done the many, many paragraphs. I've done it all. And that's why I'm here to tell you there is a better way. There is a faster way. And if you send this very short sweet to the point, hi, my name is, I teach paint parties. Do you have time to talk this week? Very short message. They are able to see it and react to it. And here's what I want you to do. You have homework, okay? Who is in for homework? Give me a heart emoji if you are in for this homework because I'm going to challenge you right now. Because we've been together now a few days. We have been we've been doing a lot together. Y'all been painting sunflowers. Last night you got to hang out with me on the guinea pig party. Um, and we're also wanting to know what type of venues. Okay, so we're talking specifically about restaurants, but there are a hundred plus places that you can book a paint party at. So right now, what I want you to do 
is I want you to let me know with a heart emoji if you were up for the homework. So I'm about to give you a homework task. And then, yeah, Leona, it was 17 minutes. <laughs> and no, I did not listen to them. <laughs> it was it was a lot. It's a, it's a lot. That's a lot. Um, yes. Yeah, so let me know if you are up for the homework by doing a heart. And I'm about to give you your homework. And then also, I want you to let me know what is the craziest venue or what venue have you taught a paint party at? I'll give you a couple of mine. I've taught in a horse barn. We painted horses, not real horses, but we painted a horse painting. I have also taught in a gymnastics on the floor, a gymnastics studio on the floor. I've taught in another, I've taught in a volleyball, a volleyball gym. Um, it was a gym, but they were using it for um, volleyball. I have taught in um, parks. I have taught at private parties. I have taught at restaurants. I've taught at outdoor venues. I've taught at retirement homes. I have taught pretty much anywhere possible. I've taught at a candy store and um, wineries. I've taught at wineries. I mean, pretty much anywhere, everywhere I have done it. So I want you to know, um, Deanna says, I've taught in a friend's garage. I love that. And um, let's see, I'm I love the horse barn location. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful for pictures too. And um, let's see, I've taught in backyards. And um, okay, so if you can't teach at certain locations, how can you teach a paint party online? That's the coolest part about paint party headquarters is you get access um, to teach my designs online as well and do art kits with them. And um, oh my gosh, so Terry has taught at a, a park and the sprinklers went off. Anne has taught at Chick-fil-A. Anne, high five. I've taught at Chick-fil-A too. It's a lot of fun. Holly says, I just booked a party at a farm animal sanctuary where we plan to let some of the animals roam. Oh my gosh, Holly, can I please come with you? That is so cool. Oh, Holly, that's amazing. And um, let's see, Desiree, I love your heart emoji. <laughs> she wrote out heart emoji. That's awesome. And um, okay, so let's see. And um, Tita says a church, definitely. And um, I've, oh, good. Julia watched the sunflower. And um, Maureen says, I painted at her hair salon. Yes, hair salons are great for that. A clothing boutique. I've actually done several boutique um, paintings. So many different things that you can do. Now, here's the thing I want you to hear. If you're like, I can't do this right now because of where you're at or um, or your location or something like that. What I want you to know is that you can do online. You can start building your online paint party business. You can do art kits. And um, a lot of the ladies in paint party headquarters have reached out to retirement homes or even schools and have sold art kits through that. So there's a lot of opportunities. But I think what we have to do is... You know, a long time ago, I, I came up, you know, came to this decision of it's really whenever you have your business. OK, and I would love to know y'all's businesses names, by the way. I love there. There is a story behind every business name and I love seeing your business names. So if you want to give me a bit your business name, I'm going to pick a, a gift card again for another shout out. And um, but here's the thing that I have learned is that. You have to always be willing to not go, this stopped, can't ever happen. No, you are not only doing a business, but you're also creative. And how cool is that, that you get to take both of them and be creative and problem solve. And I am telling you, some mm -hmm. of the Paint Party Headquarters people that really um, Connie, yes, you can use my tracers in your art kits. Yes, that's what Paint Party Headquarters is about. It's a done for you. So you can grab and go. And I'm so excited to talk more about that later. Um, but that's the thing is you are problem solvers. And, and there are people that, you know, I, I think of Jamie and Paint Party Headquarters that seriously had her paint parties ready to go last March. They got canceled. She took a minute, she regrouped, then she started building her online business and she built her online business. She's doing art journaling. It is crazy how, because she was consistent, because she was okay to pivot, because she was a problem solver, that she was able to do that. And that's what I love so much about this. So I'm really excited. Okay, so let me go ahead and call out a couple of names. And um, Christine... 
Christine Marie, her business name is called Creative Kin. I love that. You have just won 10 bucks, Christine. If you would please email support at texasartandsoul.com, your address, we will send you a $10 Starbucks gift card here in the next week. Okay, so let me write down, and we're actually sending out, we tried to do Amazon gift cards through email um, last time, and a lot of emails went to like spam and stuff like that. So we just wanted to make sure that you get a real live gift card. Um, okay, so Joyce says, inspired by you. Oh, thank you. She says, my business name is Paint and Heal. Oh my gosh, how many of y'all, let me know in the comments because I am one of these. How many of y'all are using using art to heal? How many of y'all are doing that? And Desiree says, Heidi, I want to copy your Facebook and everything. Ha ha ha. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we really make it easy for y'all. Like that's the cool thing. And I'm, I'm about to give you your homework, okay? I'm going to share a couple of more and um, more names. Oh, Monica. Um, Monica says, I haven't thought of one yet. Well, Monica, there's some extra homework. We actually have inside of um, Paint Party Headquarters, we have a whole training on how to pick a business name. So I'm really, really excited about that for y'all. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to, um, to show you your homework. Okay. I want to tell you what to do for your homework. Oh my gosh. So many of y'all are using Art to Heal. Sue says, it's helped me with depression. Yes. Oh my gosh. Y'all, when I went bankrupt over 10 years ago, that's how I used art to heal. And that, I mean, I seriously was painting those surfboards and creating to try. I mean, honestly, y'all, it was so, it was so, sh I was so shamed. Like I felt so, nobody put that on me, but I felt shame. And I know shame is a really, really big thing that can hold people back like a lot. And so what I wanted you to know is that if you can have something like painting and creating and not, not think about the things you're going through or you're able to process it, sometimes, sometimes painting is about processing that. And so I really want y'all to, um, to know art for me, I was using it for healing. That's how I was using it to get through feeling like, you know, so shameful of going through a bankruptcy and, and doing that. And that's why I am so, so passionate about helping you, you know, not only start your business, but here's a painting that you can use for your business so that you can make money to help your family. Like that's why I'm so passionate because I don't want y'all to be in that position that I was in. And I know some of y'all have been in that position, but my big goal in life is, is sharing God's love through art and helping you know that you don't ever have to go, this is it. Like there's always something more. And this, you know, we talked about this, this on two nights ago, greater things are still ahead. Greater things are still ahead. You're not done yet. And I love that song. Like I said, we were singing it in church and, and, you know, it was the inspiration for this painting, you know, greater things are still ahead and you're not done yet. And there is so much I, when I have a new idea or when I get inspired by somebody and then I take inspired action, there is no greater feeling than having a purpose, than having the next thing that I want to do, the next project, the next whatever it is, whether it's a paint party and helping other people and also being able to make money for my family. But then knowing, oh my gosh, I have this new project. I'm going to create this. Like how many of y'all that have already painted the sunflowers have sent me the, these pictures through my text? And I'm, I'm looking at them. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, this is so cute. Like y'all did such a great job. And I love that because I know you took inspired action and I know you had fun doing it because you sent me pictures and you were smiling and you're holding your painting and you're proud. So I, I love that feeling. I love that you have found that feeling through painting. Um, oh my gosh, Dottie. I'm so, so glad. Desi says it helped me raise five kids. And Dottie, I'm so, so happy. I think I know for myself is, is we have to remember. We have to remember that there's always, and you know, I, I'm a praying girl and a lot of y'all know that about me. Um, but I truly believe when I start to feel like I'm totally stuck. When I start to feel like there's, you know, no way out, which especially after bankruptcy, I had that for, for quite a while. I had that feeling of there's no way out. Like this is it. I failed this much and 
life is really hard. <laughs> I had that feeling that there was no way out. And then I started painting. <laughs> And painting helped me out of it. And painting led me to my first business. That's why I always say this is a paint party adventure. You never know where it's going to lead you. So we have, you know, paint party headquarters, members doing so many great things, teaching paint parties left and right. And I just love that. So here is your homework. Okay, here is your homework. All right. You ready? I want you to text me when you have done this homework. Okay. Your homework is to do what I just showed you not even 10 minutes ago. You're going to go to Facebook. You're going to type out. If you are just showing up, I want you as soon as this is over to watch the replay. It is this simple. <laughs> we like to, how many of you like to make things harder than they should be, right? It is this simple. I want you to follow my exact script, except for the name Heidi, unless your name is Heidi. I want you to follow that exact script. What I want you to do is I want you to find five restaurants or five country clubs or whatever you're comfortable with. And I want you to send that message to five people. Now, why only five? Because Facebook, if you end up sending it to too many in one day, so if you send like 20 messages, right? Number one, what will happen is you may get two or three that immediately say yes. Then now you're freaking out because you got to book two to three parties and that's not what you need to do. OK, so if you send to five and then wait a day, send to five more. And then as soon as you hear back from one of those people, you stop sending. Stop sending. The reason why is because then your attention focuses on getting butts in the seat. OK, we have a whole training on that in Paint Party Headquarters, how to get butts in the seat how to market, how to get people to prepay for your party. Again, I teach you a profit every party, not I'm going to hold an event and hope people show up. No. How many have done that? I have. <laughs> like I said, my job is to make every mistake possible so that you don't have to. <laughs> That's what I hope to do for you. So anyway, so your homework tonight is to find exactly how I taught you five restaurants in your local area or within a 30 minute area. And I want you to message five local restaurants who have some engagement on a social media following. If there is crickets and there's no engagement, why would we not message that particular restaurant? Does anybody know why? Let's see. Oh, Carol, I'm so glad you had fun last night. Oh, good, Sherry. She says, you're such a big help. So good. Yeah, Terry says, that's my fear, getting more than I can handle. So I taught this, and this is something anytime I feel like I, you know, I don't have enough parties lined up or I need more parties, I do this every time. I go back to the basics every time. Anybody know, like football players, you know, when they get back from, you know, off season, they start with the basics every time. So anytime you're in this paint party world and you start to go, Ah, it's not working. I'm freaking out. You step back. You take a deep breath. I pray for God to show me opportunities. I always pray for that. Then I do exactly what I'm telling you. Five messages once a day to five restaurants or country clubs that have an active social media. So the reason, yep, no action means no following. Also, if you are brand new and you don't have a customer base yet, you're going to need that restaurant's help to get the word out about your paint party. So if they are, they're not used to posting or anybody looking at their post, they're going to have a hard time getting people at that paint party. Which, by the way, inside of Paint Party Headquarters, we do have a Facebook training on how to do a Facebook ad that does help fill your party. So that will help you as well. So yes, very, very true. All of y'all got those answers right. Very good. So you want to get butts in the seat. Now, let me warn you, this sometimes works too well. And what I mean by that is one lady, I love her so much, but she got so excited about it that she ended up booking, I think it was 13 parties. And I told her, no, <laughs> no, that is not how we're doing this. Because just think, if you book 13 parties, you're going to have to try to market 13 parties. I've been doing this for over 13 years. 
it is very hard, if not next to impossible, to book 13 parties in the same area at the same time. <laughs> so what you want to do is do five a day. If you haven't heard, do another five, but it's a numbers game. There's going to be somebody that will message you back and go, I'd like more information. And then whenever you get that message, I want you to text me and I will help you with the next step. Okay. So again, somebody and Brandy says, my dear is, I won't know what to say then when I reply back. Brandy, that is a great question. So if you don't know what to say to them, when you reply, when you get that message back, I want you to text me. My number is pinned to the top. And then I am going to reply back. I will not be replying back after 8 p.m. or before 8 a.m. I like to try to keep, you know, the texting hours to where I'm not going to wake you up. <laughs> Plus, I do have to sleep. I like a good eight to, to 10 hours of sleep. I do like to sleep a lot. Um, so it's, it's funny because I, I do definitely have to sleep. Um, but here's the thing. I won't text you in the middle of the night. I'm not going to text you back then, but I will text you the next step. Okay, so Brandy, if you do your homework, let me know. I want y'all to do pinky promise, pinky promise. Oh my gosh, Joyce, I am so happy for you. She says, I set up a private Facebook page two weeks ago and already have 80 members already and 15 have signed up for paint party number one. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for y'all. Here's the thing, I want y'all to remember. Let's see, why would that be an issue? They wouldn't be on the same day or night. Okay, so the reason it's an issue, Desi, is you, okay, so when you go to fill a paint party, it's a different strategy than booking a paint party. So you're gonna learn as you start to book paint parties that it's a totally different strategy to get prepays and butts in the seat. That's a different marketing strategy. So if you have you know 13 of those booked, now you have taken your time and energy to where you need to get one booked and get prepays. Now you've spliced that into 13 areas. Now try to think of doing anything 13 times, right? You divide your attention. And us as creatives, I'm one of the worst. And um, us as creatives, we literally like squirrel, squirrel. Oh, that looks fun. Oh, what about that? Oh, I'm inspired by that. Let me do that. Like we're all over the place. I am, I am exactly that person. But what I have learned is that I, if I focus my energy and I book a party and then my energy focuses to fill in that party, then I can have so much more success than just trying to halfway do everything. When we halfway do everything, we really don't make any traction. So I want y'all to pinky promise if you're going to do the homework tonight. Okay, so go ahead and pinky promise. Pinky promise. And I want you to remember, guys, when I teach you how to do a paint party, I'm showing you how to book in person. But you in paint party headquarters, we have trainings to show you how to do online paint parties and how to do art kits. So if you're in an area where you can't do an in-person party yet, it's OK. Paint Party Headquarters teaches you how to do online paint parties as well. And we have so many trainings for that as well. Okay, so um, I don't. I usually don't have the hostess um, collect the money. Usually, I have a place where they prepay. But let me take that back. I did just recently, and um, two days ago, set up a new venue. It's a new winery in town, and they're doing a, a thing where they're going to collect the money. But usually, I have it to where they pay directly. And again, we have full trainings on how to do all of that. Okay, so Debbie says, maybe scared to death. It's okay. Everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> take a deep breath. Y'all, the worst that can happen is if they don't reply back. <laughs> okay, everybody just, just take a deep breath and know the worst that can happen is they don't reply back. All right, that, that's the worst. Okay, so let me see. If you um, can pinky promise if you are going to do this. Okay. And I'm going to give you, <laughs> Robin, <laughs> squirrels with babies. Yeah, that's me too. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you are pinky promising and you are going to do this challenge. Okay. So I want to hear. And Marcia says, I am a retired teacher and was thinking about some classes for teachers. I am a bit concerned about it not turning into a babysitting group when participating, when participants bring their kids. How do I avoid this? Oh my gosh, girl, you clearly state this is for 
ages 16 and up or whatever. This is a ladies night out. And um, I had a, a situation where somebody brought their kid. I've had this happen a couple of times and I had to be very careful. And, and y'all, I want you to know, unless it's like a mother daughter event or a, a you know grandparent with grandkids event, you want to be very clear because people are going to pay you to come to this event. And I don't know about you, but especially when Pixie was three and four, if I was going to a ladies night out event and there was somebody else who brought their kids and I love kids. I was a teacher for 10 years. I love kids. I have nothing against kids. But if I paid to get away from my kid, you better believe that I'm going to be a little upset and probably not sign up for that event again if I knew that the hostess is just going to let everyone bring their kids, right? So you want to market it as a ladies night out event. So that's the thing, Marsha. I would just be crystal clear. You know, there's no kids allowed. This is, you know, time for you. We're going to have some, you know, we're going to have a blast. We're going to crank up some music, all of that fun stuff. Doreen says, so green with this, but my main goal is to host paint parties. Yay. And um, what is the best thing to paint for the first time parties? Location is my first hurdle. So location, are you going to pinky promise, Doreen? Are you pinky? Pinky promising that you're going to do this tonight. And um, what I want you to do is do this activity, do this homework, book a party. The worst thing that can happen is they don't respond. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I know rejection is a big fear. And if you struggle with rejection, read this book. Okay. If you struggle with rejection, if you struggle with fear, I want you to read this book. It does have some cuss words in it. We're all adults. You can bleep it out as you read it if you're offended by cuss words. But this book has helped me so much. It has helped me so much not care if I have failures. My thing is now is dream big, fail fast. The faster I fail, the faster su to success. And how many people out there that are super successful that you know that have never failed? It's not right. Failure goes hand in hand with success. You cannot, cannot have success without having failures. So my new motto for the past several years has been fail fast, fail fast, fail fast. The faster I fail, the faster I'm going to succeed. So if you're struggling with failure, with rejection, all of that, I want you to read this. This book, and yes, please bleep yourself if you're worried about cuss words, it has so many great things that are going to help you see things differently so that you won't care as much. Does failure still hurt? Yeah, still stings a little, but you get more comfortable with it. Now, when I fail, I go mm, shake it off and I move on where before I would sit in it. How many of y'all are, are sitting in it? Like you sit in failure. Maybe you've had a business before. Maybe you've had an MLM, you know, like a, a multi-level marketing. I remember I tried to do oils. Then I realized I don't want to talk about oils. I want to talk about paint parties. <laughs> I want to talk about teaching paint parties. But maybe you have, you have done something like that before. Maybe you signed up for Mary Kay back in the day. Maybe you signed up for, you know, some kind of a thing like that and you failed at it. I don't want you to say you failed at it. I want you to say, what did I learn from it? What did I learn and how can I bring that forward? Okay. All right. So what I want to do is give you your homework tomorrow night. Here's what's happening tomorrow night. I am going to be kind of breaking down the paint party process. I will also be sharing some numbers with you on how much you can make from doing a paint party and I'm going to be answering your questions. Okay. So again, this is all gearing up to our big three year anniversary of paint party headquarters. We are opening the doors from May 16th. That's when the doors open. This will be the last time we have it at $37 a month and we will close the doors because we are getting all of you over 2000 of you in paint party headquarters. We are getting you ready for fall because if you have ever been around the paint party business, Fall and Christmas time are so, so, so fun. And I am excited to get you ready for fall. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I am going to give you your homework. And here's what I want you to, to message five restaurants tonight. Okay, I want you to say that exact script. And then tomorrow, if you hadn't gotten a response back, I want you to send five more 
within an hour's radius. I will drive an hour if I know I'm going to make 300 bucks. You better believe I'll put on some podcasts and I'll be in the car chilling. So I want you to make sure that within an hour radius, if you're comfortable with driving that far, send it to five places. And then if you get a response back, if you text me, I will tell you what to do next. Okay. All right. So tomorrow night we are going to be, um, oh, let's see. I'm one now. Yep. Yeah, Sue, I totally get it. I mean, I still, I still order my oils every single month, but I'm not enthusiastic about talking about that. So you have to have something you're passionate about. You do, you definitely do. And I know a lot of y'all watching are excited. You're excited about this potential of doing this, but I want you to remember that that failure is not is not the enemy. Failure is not the enemy. I want you to remember that whenever you're failing, I, so just a quick little story. And um, several years ago, several years ago, I started a whole website. I built the freaking website myself. I was so proud. I took a week to build it and it was called Paint Vault, paintvault.net. Have you heard of it? No, because it was a massive failure, very massive failure. It was very similar to what Paint Party Headquarters is today. But the way I had marketed it, the way I had, had built it, the way I had set it up, it was a total failure. I learned so much through that process. So what I want you to remember is that you are going to learn so much through every paint party you do. Every paint party you do. So again, Paint Party Headquarters, we're going to open the doors on Sunday. That's where you get, and we'll talk more about this later, but that's where you're going to get marketing materials. You're going to get rights to all of my painting designs so that those of you that work full time and you're doing this on the side, you literally can say, I love that painting. I want to teach it and make money from it. And I give you all the marketing and everything that goes with it. It's so, so cool. And it's a huge time saver. And we also teach you social media. We teach you marketing, all of those things. And there's so, so much more. So we'll talk more about that in the coming days. Tomorrow, I'm going to be answering your questions, but I really want y'all I really want y'all to do your homework, okay? So Pinky Promise, do your homework. And then those of y'all that have missed any of this event and you're just catching it, what I want you to do is go back to my first day or, or text the word sunflower, text the word sunflower to, hold on, 817. If somebody will type this for me, 817 <laughs> 373 if you'll type that for me and text the word sunflower, you're going to get access to this painting so that I can teach you how to paint this right away. So it'll, you know, once you put in your, um, you'll text me, we'll send you a little pop-up that says, put your name and email. It will immediately give you access to paint this. Then you're going to learn so much. And all of y'all, oh, thank you, Stephanie. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Deborah and Wendy. You're all putting in the, the phone number. And then also, I just want to give a, another shout out to PPHQ members. If you'll do hashtag PPHQ, that's our Paint Party Headquarter members. And I would love to pick another Starbucks gift card before we go tonight. It has been so much fun. Have you learned a lot? I know you can be like, eh, it's too simple. This can't work. Test me. Test me. I want to see. I want to see you try it. Okay, so let me go ahead. Let's have Renee Jenkins. Renee Jenkins, you are the next winner of $10 gift card. Renee Jenkins. And let's have another, let's see, Jenny. Jenny, Polly. Jenny, I always have trouble saying your last name. Jenny, if you will please message support at texasartandsoul.com. And Renee Jenkins. And um, support at texasartandsoul.com. And I'm going to give you a $10 gift card. Oh my gosh. Y'all are so awesome. I'm so glad y'all were here. Let me know in the comments if you had fun tonight. And um, oh, I'm so glad to see you on here, Shelly. Hey guys. Oh, it's so awesome. So fun. Okay. So let me know if you had fun tonight. Tomorrow night, we are going to finish this out. We are doing Q&A tomorrow night for day four. This is the, the third day of four days event. I mean, we've had so much. And make sure you, and you can use the sunflower to book. So when you send that little message, you can take that image and put it in the message. That's the, that's the one thing I forgot to tell you. Oh my gosh. I hope everybody was here still. I hope y'all were still here. When you send that short little message, only send one to two images. 
If you're brand new to this and you know you've painted this with me and you know you can paint this, then you are welcome to send that picture with it, okay? Because if you send 50 pictures, mm -mm. again, overwhelm. Remember that feeling of overwhelm, getting that message with too much information. So keep it short, keep it sweet, and then I want you to sign up so that you can paint this and then pinky promise, pinky promise, and do the homework. <laughs> you got to do the homework. And then tomorrow night, we are giving away, we're picking three winners for those of y'all that are texting me your picture of the sunflower. So we're picking three winners for that. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad y'all had fun tonight. Congratulations to all the winners. And I will see you back here tomorrow night at 6 p.m. All right. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow night.